Hello! Today we are going to talk about Japanese um, artist Azuma Makota. So he creates these incredible floral arrangements in a million different, different ways. And as we are um, looking at his beautiful art, I am going to be making some Epsom salts, watercolor, um, ice paintings. So pretty fun. So let's get started. So Azuma Makoda uh, owns Jardin des Fleurs in Tokyo. And this avant-garde, what did you say? Floral shop uh, takes floral arranging to the next level. So we are doing ice painting because he also freezes um, flowers and sees what happens. So we use quite a lot of Epsom salt to make this ice painting work. And then I'm using liquid watercolors. Um, I think you could also use dye a generous amount, maybe four or five. Um, and then all four or five drips. And then also some glitter for fun. Oh my gosh, that's so fun. Cool. Um, Azuma Makoda also has been known to send his flowers into space um, and see what happens to them. Really incredible. Okay, so now I am stirring together my ice painting pieces, so my Epsom salt, some glitter, and dye watercolor. You could probably just use paint too. Okay, so it is crunchy and sparkly and beautiful. Now I'm going to add some water. Water added. So then I need to stir up my ice um, watercolor so the Epsom salt will dissolve. I actually made some yesterday. Um, I like to let it sit overnight so it can really crystallize. Okay. Uh, Azuma Makoda also uh, takes flowers and plunges them deep um, into the sea, like super, super deep. I'm gonna bring this down so you can see uh, our painting. So I am going to do a an ice, uh, I'm going to do a, uh, oh my gosh, um, snowflakes. So we have been learning about radial symmetry in one of my classes. And we made compasses last week. So we take the the outline of the compass, right? The plus and the X, put them together. And then students can add their own sort of details. And it's all right if it drips because that can just be a snow drip. I like to do little V's at the ends, little um, lines. But remember, we want radial symmetry. So if I do something on the in the intermediate directions, then I also want to do it in the, or um, in every direction. I'm also, we can also do different things in the um, cardinal direction, so north, south, east, west. Cool, and so this one's a little big, so I'm gonna make that bigger. Oh my gosh, and this is super fun to do because it starts, um, Let's have them go out. Uh, you could, as it starts drying, you can see the Epsom salt crystals start forming. So three on that side, three on that side, which means three on this side too. Yeah, you can follow Azuma Makoda's work on Instagram. Uh, it's really fun. He's working. Um, in contemporary Tokyo. Um, he also ha is a musician and is part of a rock band. Um, so I'm just doing some background snowflakes just for fun. You can also just do little dots and those are fun to watch dry. <clears throat> so practice in radial symmetry. We're also making some ice castles in one of my other classes with this same uh, concoction, this ice paint that I found online. With, I think it was a homeschool 
a website that had this. Add some more snowflakes on this side. Cool. So we have our eyes painting and we can watch that dry. So yeah, we just need our watercolors, some well, you don't really need glitter, but it's nice to put it in the paint because then it doesn't get everywhere. And some Epsom salt. And quite a lot for it to really crystallize. All right, let that dry a little bit. You can also like blow on it and watch it dry um, in class. And if students, uh, if you are a teacher and students are like bored, you can say add more dots, add more ice crystals as you're waiting. Maybe make a little border, some little designs on the four corners. Cool. All right, let, let that leave that where it is. Um, I'd also have students draw it out in pencil and then trace it, but I'm skipping that step. All right, um, I'm going to uh, rest my brush on here because the brush can get really crystallized if it's not in the water. So leaving that there. All right, so I hope you enjoyed our Azuma Makota and um, ice painting today. So um, I hope you enjoyed his work. Have an awesome day. Bye.